guys <clears throat> welcome to another python tutorial this is the beginning of a new python series that i am starting for uh, tkinter which is the built-in gui programming uh, module for python now before i get started i would like to tell you a little bit about tkinter now tkinter is a um, cross-platform module so it comes pre-installed with Python on Windows, it comes pre-installed with Python on Mac, and so on and so forth. So, since it's cross-platform, that means you don't have to worry about your code running on a Windows, but not on a Mac, or vice versa, which is extremely convenient, whereas some uh, other GUI programming things, such as Qt, or Qt, you know, and um, stuff like that, those are a little bit different. <clears throat> so um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. In this tutorial, I'm simply going to show you how to create your window, um, your actual GUI, which GUI, for those of you who do not know, stands for Graphical User Interface. So it's actually G-U-I. and um, But programmers always just pronounce it GUI. So, uh, in this video, though, I'm just going to show you the basics of how you actually create your application, and we'll make a, a simple button that prints out Hello World to the uh, console kind of down here, so that you can actually get a little bit of interaction with your program. So the first thing we want to do is import our tkinter module, but we're not going to just simply import it as tkinter. To make things simpler, we're going to say from tkinter import all. Now, the difference from saying from tkinter import all and saying import tkinter is if we just use import tkinter every time we use, um, like, say we're using the button from tkinter and we want to create a new button, instead of um, what we would do with the from import all line there we would have to say uh, tkinter dot button and things like that whereas with the uh, with the regular or with the from tkinter import all we can just say button and it automatically knows that we're talking about that from tkinter now you obviously spell tkinter t uh, with a capital t and uh, the import all line here. For those of you who do not know, you can use from your module name, import all, to do exactly what I just explained. So after our import line, we can go ahead and create the actual window for our application. Now, most of the time I like to call mine root, but you can call it whatever you would like. So root equals tk and then some in empty uh, parentheses. Now, TK like that, this is just the, uh, this is actually the window that you will see. Like, this is a window. So, you will actually see that. And after that line of code runs, it actually builds and displays your, uh, your window. So, after that, we're going to say uh, root.title then open parentheses and then a string with whatever title that you would like for your so we're going to say hello world application now after that we're going to uh, we're going to create our button so we're going to say um, let's say say hello button equals button open parentheses root comma uh, text equals say hello uh, let's say command equals say hello there we go then we'll say say hello button dot pack with empty parentheses. Now I'll explain all of this in further detail uh, here in a minute. Well actually I'll, I'll go ahead and say okay 
so your variable name for your object and then button right here now this tells it what object you're, you're creating so button we want a tkinter button alright that's pretty uh, straightforward and the first item in your parentheses is going to be the uh, tkinter window that you're putting your button in now this does not have to be a window later I will talk about containers or frames of sort which is a way of organizing your uh, controls in your window but um, for now we're just going to display it in the main window which is root and other uh, arguments that we have in this you do not you do not have to put in but we included the text which is going to be the text inside our button so it will say say hello and then command is what happens when you click your button and this is actually a function that we're about to write just here in a minute but the thing with the command equals function name is you do not put the open parentheses so if we put parentheses like that it would throw an error and the reason is this is an attribute so um, for the for the button class inside the tkinter module so it cannot have parentheses right there now since this is referring to a uh, function we have to place our function before that starts so I'm going to write the function say hello and we're just going to say print hello world uh, okay now after all that we need to call one function for our main window which is root you always have to call this at the very end of your uh, program which is root dot main loop so what this does is this is a function that says okay continue running your application until the user clicks the close button or clicks some sort of button inside your program that closes it so now we are ready to build and if we build it will open this uh, python down here and this is our program so which is, you can resize it right now and it has one button that says say hello now uh, if you will keep an eye down here whenever we click our button it says hello world so you can you can click that button all you want so this is your first application made with python and tkinter i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for uh, the next one in this series in the next one i will most likely be covering the uh, another widget which is the entry one and i will hopefully focus on a single widget or two uh, per video but for the first video i just wanted to show you a tutorial for how to make a basic hello world application like this so we can close that out and uh, feel free to click the like button if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you and i'll see you all next time thanks for watching